Hi, this is Shadi. Today I'm going to be sharing some footage from the 80s and even the 70s. So this is about a world that seriously doesn't exist anymore. I'm not romanticizing it by all means, at least not all of it. But I just want to show you things that at the time used to be just normal when now we are completely outraged. So. I have no problem with any technique as long as it leaves the room for safety, meaning the ability to get out, the ability to escape safely, or worst case scenario, maybe you can have some type of injury, but techniques with high rates of injuries are just always a no for me. You can learn them, but to compete with them, it's absolutely not a choice in my opinion because they will not make or break the art. So you see here, the first one is Kani Basami. So this is what you call a scissors takedown, usually right versus left, it happens a lot. And here, luckily he got away with an ankle injury rather than a knee injury. So you see here that was Endo who did it on Yamashita and here he is teaching his uh, student how to go into it so really something that's been gone decades at this point to see people actually discussing it and creating that position where you can actually attack uh, with it here look at the size of this man so if he pulls you at the same time pinning your knees you're finished i again it's now looking back from the 2023 20, glasses it seems surreal that this was normal and to look at it and uh, just look at people training it and even teaching it and setting it up as crazy so i don't know what uh, jiu-jitsu federations or competitions still allow it i know ibjjf also banned it and for a good reason because there's no getting out of it and just to concede a point or whatever it's really you know it, it's a no-go for me now if and only if it's done without the hands maybe you can have a debate whether or not it can be done as like a shoot type technique but the regular one with the grips here you see you pull the upper body towards you so the knees have no choice but to snap so the second one here, Japanese students drilling a double leg. Now, this double leg looks quite interesting. Look at it again. Check out the leg of the attacker. He closes in from behind and just hugs the legs and dives forward. Now, this, I would say it's a Morotegari in conjunction with Tanya Otoshi. You see here, the knee pick is then finished with Tanya Otoshi, and that is a choice. So here he went for both legs, but the way he blocked them from behind and sacrificed himself, like here, for example, grouping the leg, that would be Tanya Otoshi, but started from Morote Gavi. It's an interesting thing to see, and uh, Japanese judokas drilling it. So next is a uchimata from a hook uh, this is from the superstar judo productions i'll leave a link so it looks like he's teaching a an ochigari into uchimata but it's actually more insidious uh, that's a big word but uh, those band techniques that should never come back it, it's quite you know you cringe when you see it as you can see here there's an ankle hook and that ankle hook so here you see he's going for um, Uchimata Makikomi from the grip but he can't do it so he wraps his own ankle around so what happens is that you can straighten the leg and it cannot move and as you put all your weight on it going down it's finished so hence why it's it's an immediate elimination and of course it's for a good reason with the explosive nature of judo so here you see it kawazu gake and so 
you can go Ochigari, Kawazugake, Uchimata. You know, you have this corridor of these three techniques. You can go from one to another depending on the direction. So, Iruar is used as one of those techniques where you can use it in conjunction with another. Again, it's a world that simply does not exist anymore. And uh, now let's talk about things that I actually want them to come back. Look at this pickup. If you don't know who this is, this is Dr. Roddy Ferguson, uh, Olympian and uh, ADCC competitor and IBJJF. I believe he's the only one to have competed in all of them and MMA. So look at this pickup. Just imagine not only the, the strength, but the technique, the, the explosiveness and also the control. Just because you, you are allowed to grab a leg in the competition, it's, it immediately means that you're going to be doing this. No way. Not Very few can actually do this. And this is why Neil Adams said that if they were to come back, it's going to be in an upward trajectory because they require so much mastery and control and explosiveness and skill like Kataguruma and Sukuinage. Because if you can, if you can do those two only... Or, or if these two are the only ones that are legal here, you see that scoop upward, then you can literally do everything else in the Gokyo, like the ankle pick and the knee pick. Uh, but if you can scoop up like this, and also look at Jang, credits to him how he's just escaping all those attempts. Just crazy to think that this was 20 years ago. It's really a shame that we don't have this. So, you know, not only to attack with such control and upward trajectory, for example, Morotegari, not so much because it's not an upward trajectory. A lot of people would grab the pants and put their heads on the stomach and just run the length of the mat. And it was really ugly to say the least, but, um, and no skill whatsoever. It's just using just running around but what i'm trying to say is that the way he dr ferguson how he picked them up and just send them flying do you know how many people can do that not many and also if you can add a good kata guruma or fireman's carry in an upward trajectory all those grabbing the leg you know uh, te guruma one hand on the upper body one on the lower body and with a big scoop those require quite the skill and again not many can actually do that and if they were to bring them back that's how they are going to bring them back not just people bending over looking for whatever leg they can reach and just lose a lot of time i've seen some old matches and i gotta say they did not look good those defensive people so if you have anything to add let me know down below this was shady and thank you for listening